Hi, welcome to today's video. I am super excited to be trying out some new products from Vive. They are the new satin lipsticks and also the new cream bronzer. <sighs> Let's get into it. Starting with my skin and over base, I'm just going to really quickly brush over what I'm doing to my face because I kind of want this to be more about the bronzers and also the lipsticks. And I've got four other cream bronzers or four other bronzers that I want to kind of compare this to shade wise. I just love how that skin over makes my skin look. I have already done the rest of my skincare and put on SPF. Which one did I use today? I used the La Roche Posay and Thelios, and this is the cream version. Okay, tinted moisturizer and concealer are down. It's very light coverage, which isn't like me, but let's go into the bronzer. So this is the Vive Modern Radiance Cream Bronzer. It says it's a lightweight, seamlessly buildable cream bronzer enriched with skin love ingredients which adds a natural looking sun kiss warmth to the complexion. So I picked this up in the shade light which is the same colour I have in my powder bronzer which is just here. It is well loved so ignore the messy packaging but I think they look very 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 similar. I will also put up a picture just now of what the other shades look like because there's four and four of both the cream and the powder um, and I would say all of them look very similar to the original powders medium looks a little warmer in the cream version but all in all i think all of them look very close to their powder like sisters if you will just for comparison purposes and i will put an arm swatch in the video somewhere but this is my nars one very well loved you can see a big dip in there but this is the size difference so this is 25 grams i believe no this is 19 grams and this is 33 grams yeah 33 versus 19 so significantly bigger and then I was just four pounds extra. This is 31 and this is 34 when I looked last night on uh, the websites. So, but color wise, super similar. And I love my NARS one. Um, so I'm very excited color wise. Let me also just show you versus my Refi. So Refi is only 18 pounds, which is a lot cheaper. But when I had a look again, very well loved. You can see, please don't judge me for these. <laughs> Some of these products. Um, this is only 8.3 grams and it's still 18. So a fraction of the product you're actually, oops, you're actually getting. I do love my refine one, but as you can see, it's a lot warmer. This is, um, the lightest of three shades and the NARS is the lightest of, I believe there's five shades actually. Oh, sorry. There are four shades actually of this. There were three original bronzers and then they came out with one cooler tone shade. So technically lightest of four shades. And I did also pull out my Huda Beauty Tan Tour. I haven't used it yet, but I thought might as well, while we're having a look at all the colors, pull it out. This is shade Fair. This is a whole, a whole shade or two darker. Still kind of neutrally, but definitely noticeably darker for Fair. I haven't yet tried that, so I can't speak on the formula. So this is just a natural daylight, Vive and Nars are super similar, Refi's warm and the Huda is darker. So I'm just going to tap a brush into my bronzer and then kind of press it into the back of my hand and into the brush a little bit more. Kind of evenly distribute it on the brush, it's the normal routine I do. And I'm just going to start tapping. That colour is so good. And what's really great about tapping it into the back of your hand is you're kind of limiting the amount of product that goes from here to here. Um, so you can build it up really naturally. Looking up close, that is insanely smooth. That looks stunning. So far it's not disturbed anything. And again, that's why I like to do it onto the back of my hand. That is seriously stunning. Let me just do my big old forehead. Wow, wow, wow. That's a perfect shade for me. So my foundation colours are NARS Mont Blanc. Um, this tint moisturiser from Laura Mercier is 0 and 1 Petal. Um, in Rare Beauty and Anastasia, I'm 130. In Kosas, I'm 100. Um, what else is there? In Estee Lauder, I am 1, yeah, 1, 0 N or 1 and 1. I kind of mix them. Um, my concealer shade from Vive is Light 1. If that helps anybody kind of figure out what my skin tone is. Believe it or not, this is me tanned. Like, this is this is me with a tan. Also, um, I have not made any videos in, like, five months. Um, you guys have been really, really busy. Um, but in that time, I have got back into shellacking my own nails. 
Um, because for those of you who don't know, um, I've been qualified in shellac since I was, I don't know how, since I was 16. Since I was 16 and only just in the last few months bought myself all of the shellac kit from CND and how adorable. Green is not the normal colour I would go for but I just fancied it and I did a little heart on my fourth finger. Just took some on top of my nose. I'm very obsessed with how this looks. I mean it's stunning. S I don't even have words for how stunning this is. I mean look at how smooth and perfect and radiant that is. I didn't know it was radiant. To be honest, all I knew was that it was cream bronzer. I didn't know it was going to be radiant. And I love it. I literally love it so much. Um, definitely smoother than I was expecting. I wasn't expecting it to be not smooth, but this is flawlessly smooth. Bronzer is down and it looks incredible. I'm going to go in. I've just pumped some of the Vive Sunset Blush on the back of my hand while I talk about my thoughts for the bronzer. I will say price point wise, the NARS being 34, the two Vive ones, both bronzer, uh, sorry, both powder and cream being 31. Um, the Huda is, I think also 31, and the Refi being 18. It's kind of price point wise where it needs to be at. Obviously Refi seems a lot cheaper, but then you look at the amount you get and it's literally, what, a fourth? So value for money wise, incredible. Smoothness of the formula, incredible. The actual shade and the undertone, I'm very obsessed with. I don't really want to say the brand because I don't want it to sound like I'm being mean, but there is a brand, Rose Inc, who I really love that brand, but their pale cream bronzer shade is like yellow. It's a really strange shade and being so pale, I can't wear yellow as a bronzer. It's just a very, very weird shade. And there's a couple in a couple other ranges that also just don't look quite right. Like the, again, I hate, I feel really mean, but the Laura Mercier, the new tinted bronzer, like liquids, the light shades of those are just very odd undertones. So, which is why I'm big fans of my NARS Marify and now this Vive, because they're just not odd undertones. I, I just love it very, very, very much. And I can definitely see this being my new go-to because it looks amazing. It blended super easily. It was took no effort at all. And that's just what you want, really. I Well, I personally don't like having to work for my makeup to work. If I'm in a rush to go to work or go somewhere or, you know, just want to slap it on in two minutes flat, I want to be able to do that. And with especially cream products in general, you can and I love that for me. This product, stunning. It has a 12 out of 10 for me. I'm gonna see how it wears throughout the rest of the day. I am actually going to work today. So, ugh, these blushes are stunning. And I find they apply best before powder. Um, whenever I've worn the Sunset Liquid Blushes after powder. I don't know if I just haven't got the technique down, but I can't always make them look super smooth. But now I think they look adorable. I'm just going to go in with my Vive Modern Powder. This is again that shade Light. Who would have guessed? And then I'm going to come back to look at the new Satin Slip Lipsticks. I did know that the concealers and the powders were launching from my time at the pop-up, which was super cool because I, if you saw my video on the um, concealer and powder, you know that Jamie tested them on me while she still had the samples. It was amazing. I loved every second of it um and then i did also know because somebody from v recognized me like from uh, vive hq recognized me when they were shopping in the shop that i currently work um and they were like giving me a little heads up on what's coming so i knew about the satin lipsticks like two days before they launched kind of to be honest that's the same as everyone else there's always a couple sneak peeks on socials but i knew about the cream bronzers a couple weeks ago and I also know two more products that are coming at some point. One of them I've got no idea when it's launching, but the other is launching in January 2024 or around then. And I'm very, very, very excited for this product. This is the product I've been wanting. <sighs> I can't wait, but let's move on to lipstick. I just ran, oh, I only put brow gel in one brow. Um, let me fix that. And then I'm gonna move on to the Satin Slip Lipsticks. There are four shades. I'll put up a picture of the shades now. I picked up the two middle ones 
So the shades I didn't pick up are Nighty and Deep Love and I picked up um, Kink and Silk Sheets. Those are stunning. The packaging for these are so cool. So there's only four shades and I can't remember if I said it already, I think they're 21 pounds. So this is Silk Sheets, amazing. I'm just gonna, I've not got room on that hand. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do a good one on this hand. That was so much concentration. And let's try the next one. So that is Silk Sheets. And this is Kink. And they've got the V imprinted to the top. Very obsessed with that. This is really hard to do on my left hand. And there's the other one. So they're looking very similar on my phone right now. But this is Nudia and this is Pinkier. Nighty is very light and very peach. And Deep Love, I believe, is a little bit more, like, purpley, bready, that kind of colour. It's a bit deeper. So these two are more similar. I think I'm going to go with the pink, obviously. So I'm going to be using my Vive lip liners, obviously. My favourite lip liner ever in the whole world of all brands is Vive um, Modern Lip Definer in the shade Aphrodite. I love this. And I've also got Bewitched, which is a little darker. And this is my second one because my first one, I left it on the train and I was so upset. Let me line these bad boys so that's aphrodite kind of everywhere and i'll be honest i probably should have done like a lip scrub i feel like they're looking a bit crispy in the center but we're here now and i just want to get this lipstick on so i'm just doing bewitch like right underneath there make it look like i've got more lip than i have and then i kind of like to do the same right at my cupid's bow just to find it a little bit so going in with kink yeah Mm, it's very creamy. Oh wait, is that the nude one? I mean, she's stunning. I actually think that was the more nudey one. Let me have another look. Yeah, I maybe swatched them in the wrong order. This is Silk Sheets and this is Pinkier. I earlier said Kink is Pinkier, that's why I put Kink on. Kink is Nudier Brown. So I'm just gonna stick this on top because I chose I chose Bewitched and Aphrodite because they're pinky, otherwise I probably would have chosen like Bark and Rumour. So I'm just going to stick this on top. I did the first swipe and I was like, that's not as pink as I remember it being. Um, it's too early <laughs> to be making any kind of hard decisions. Like what lipstick should I wear today? Mm, the mix is really pretty. The mix is cute. I'm very much feeling that lip. Mm -mm -mm. You see her? So overall thoughts love i mean i've only had it on for 0.4 seconds but they feel silky smooth oh actually i didn't read you so it says satin slip lipstick sensorial satin finish lipstick enriched with lip loving ingredients amazing that's all i need and then it says directions for use apply straight from the bullet for powerfully pigmented color mix and match with your favorite lip liner that's what i've done anyway so that's great packaging stunning packaging for this stunning both products super smooth super creamy both have amazing pigment the bronzer is a ten thousand percent yes for me i just did my t-zone with powder i didn't actually set the bronzer so this is what it looks like without any powder on top actually i have a little while until i need to leave for work because you girl hates being late so i'm just gonna tap into the powder bronzers and just tap over oh that's bolder she's very cute i'm very very happy with everything I've tried today. Love, 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 love. Mm. Stunning. I mean, I I feel great going into work today. And I'm actually working in a different place to normal um, because a load of people are sick at their place. Um, so they need cover. So yeah, it'll be a little different. I hope they all like my Vive makeup. Um, but yeah, so love. Final thoughts, I'll buy it. Seriously buy it. It's very rare that I'm disappointed by Vive products. Um, the quality and the time that goes into manufacturing them and you know the amount of samples are clearly amazing and I will say that huge pot huge pot 33 grams versus my NARS 19 grams I mean look at the pot side by side and you pay three pounds less for this that's a no-brainer to me and I love this and I will still use this but this incredible if you haven't got a cream bronzer or you're looking to buy a cream bronzer i would highly recommend this 
But I'm going to leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. I'd love to hear your opinion on any of the Vive products, any of the products I've tried today, anything I haven't shown on my channel that you'd like for me to review, or any products in general that you like. What cream bronzers do you have that you adore? What satin lipsticks do you have that you adore? I would love to just hear anything. So yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.